Hello, my name is Steve and I'm with Graphic and Design. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can put your logo or your design in a mock-up uh, of a t-shirt using Affinity Photo. For this tutorial, I'm using Affinity Photo 1.8.4. So let's get started. Okay, this tutorial comes uh, as a request of one of my viewers. So thank you very much for the request and let's start with the, with the tutorial. Okay, the first thing that you need to do is um, you can download actually free mockups. I'm using always, uh, this is the, the site that I use the most to download mockups. So if you go here to the top, I go to look for all the different mockups and I'm going to search for a t-shirt and as you can see you can download all these ones are free so one of the key points in here before you download something um, remember first to check the actual uh, license of the mock-up and the one that I'm going to be using is this one this is free to download and usually inside the, um, the folder when you after you download this uh, there is a file with the license. Please always check that it can be used for personal or commercial use. Okay, there is no any license restriction. If I go to my folder, as you can see, I downloaded two. Uh, the one that I'm going to be using first one is this one. And if I click here in the license, it says that, that it's free to use for both for person, personal and commercial projects. It's also important uh, to read all the uh, things that are not allowed and what you what are your rights actually make sure that you check that before you go any further and as well something else that i need to point is they need to be uh, psd and the other thing is not all of them works um, unfortunately uh, because remember that actually Affinity Photo is importing something that is for, for another software. Uh, the ones that are always, uh, that I found out with some problems, not all of them, but most of them are the ones that comes with, um, uh, they add a perspective or something like that. For some reason, uh, I think it's not working perfectly, but uh, you can download quite a few and try which ones are the best for you. Okay, with that out of the way, let's get started. So to get into this one, let me just close all these and start from the beginning. So it's quite simple and straightforward how it does it. And there is quite a few things that you need to have in consideration. So for the first of all, I'm going to open the, the mockup. And as you can see, that is the actual mockup. So I'm double clicking on that one to open. This one comes with this note that is in there. I'm going to actually delete that one. You can read, it tells you what to do. And as you can see, there is quite a different layers in here. So you have one for the label. So if I turn off that, that one there, you turn off the label. You can use the label if you want. I'm going to use it just only to show you how it's done. And if you expand all these ones, you have all different parts like reflections, design shadows, and you can actually then tweak all those ones to your liking. So we will see those ones later on. Now you will always find one of the layers it says, uh, as you can read there, it says uh, design, edit this one, it says embedded document. So if you double click on this one, it's going to open the document where you are actually going to put your logo or your design. One of the best results that I, that I got is when you place actually the file from coming from Affinity Designer. So what I'm going to do, you, you can put, sorry, you can put a picture if you want, but the best result that I got is using the Affinity Designer. So what I did is in one of my previous videos, uh, I created a, a letter with some lines. So to place it in here, basically you go to File, Place, and look for the file that you're looking for. 
uh, in this case is my logo design and it's an uh, Affinity Designer file. So I'm going to open that one and you place it somewhere in there. Then obviously you center, for example, something like that. You can scale this, let, let me put it in there. And I'm going to add some text in here. So I'm going to put uh, something like a motion. Let's put something like that. Let's change the font for something a little bit more. Uh, no, that one, no. Maybe candle, no. Something like this for a, for a t-shirt. I think it will be more or less fine. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change the color of the font and I'm going to make it white so everything is white. Now, you don't need to save anything in here. And any modification that you do in this file is going to reflect later on in the mockup. So with that one done, basically what you do is you go to your mockup file at the top and as you can see is already embedded in there with all the shades and everything. So let's change, for example, the label. And I'm going to double click in this one. I'm going to delete that. I'm going to put a rectangle in here, something like this. Let's change the color. Maybe that color there will be, will be fine. Let me see. Okay, and now I can do it like this. And now we can put, I don't know, something like uh, my logo, something like that. I'm going to center it. I'm going to put it like this. You can do any kind of design that you want. Let's change the font. Let's put something like, let me see. I think that, no, that one is too much. Uh, maybe that one. Maybe this one. No, I think that one is fine. Let's make it something like this. Let's make it a little bit bigger. And there you are. So without saving anything, what you do is now you go back to your mockup file. And as you can see now, your text is in there. And then you have other things that you can change. For example, if, if you click in, in this one, in this layer here, it says edit color. Uh, I can change the color of the, uh, of the shirt, for example. I can make it something like that. And basically that's it. It's quite simple. There is other things that you can actually, uh, for example, change in the uh, that is the shadow, you can make it stronger or, or less. Here, for example, you have your reflections. You can give it more, less reflection. Um, the shadow for the for the t-shirt, for example, you can make it a, a little bit softer, a little bit stronger. That is up to you. You get the memo. Basically, that's it. That is how everything is done. It's quite simple. Uh, very straightforward. There is other mockups as well with other things that you can actually manipulate. Now, one of the things is uh, this file, don't save it. What I usually do is I save with history, so I get everything that I've done, I can make it back. And then I save as, and I give the affinity photo file basically. And then obviously the most important part is you go to export and I usually use TIFF because they are high resolution. Uh, I like to use the 16 bit. They get quite a big files, but it's the best quality that you are going to get or not the best, but you are going to get a very high quality um, kind of file. So I'm going to cancel this because I already save everything. So maybe what we can do is let me go and do another one. Let me close this one. I'm not going to save it. And obviously say close almost everything. And let me open another one so I can show you um, mockup. I think it's this one there. And you have the, no, that one is with the tag. This one is the other one. And I'm going to use the front. 
and I'm going to use, I'm going to do uh, more or less the same again. Uh, just as an explanation, there you have one layer that says uh, double click this layer. So if you double click on that one, basically any modifications that you place in here is there is going to show in there. For example, if you look there and I hide the actual um, image and now everything is completely white. So what I'm going to do is following the scheme of this, I'm going to create a rectangle and I'm going to make it black. Then again, I'm going to place file, sorry, file place. And I'm going to back again and I'm going to insert my logo in there. As you can see, this one is quite small, but because it's the embedded document, uh, you don't lose any resolution if you need to make it bigger or smaller. So that's why I always prefer to use the uh, Affinity Designer file or the vector file instead of a pixel. And let's put again text in there. Motion, let me change the color again. Let's make it white. Let's make it bigger. Let's put it in there. Change uh, recently use. We can use something like this, for example, for a t shirt. We can put it in there. Then you can move this. This is up to you. It's your creativity. Once that is done, no saving, nothing. You go now to your to your mock-up and actually you can see there that is actually uh, too big and in the wrong place. So now let's make this one a little bit smaller. Let's make it something in there and this one as well, smaller. And I'm going to put it on the top. And as soon as you make a modification, when you open this file, this one opens and shows in there. So let's make it, put it a little bit. And that is how you can actually check that everything is working. Now, this file, something that I like is that you have these two layers in here. So these two layers are actually the shades uh, that you see in there. And those ones actually are the ones that give you the illusion that they is printed into the t-shirt. So you can change this and for example, make it a little bit stronger that one there. And you can make this one also a little bit stronger to change a little bit in there. As you can see, seems like a, it's actually fit or printed into the t-shirt. Okay, I think uh, this is for this tutorial. I hope you like it. If you did, please remember to give the thumbs up. Leave any comments in the section down below. Thank you very much for watching. And like always, I'm seeing you in the next video.